Can you have exactly... In the last video, we heard what in-ear monitoring can deliver. This video is about the basic equipment you need for good signal management. It's a solution that gives you perfect monitoring on live stages and during rehearsals. And for this, you need at least a basic mixing console. Solid in-ear monitoring needs good signal management. You surely want it to be as versatile as possible, no matter how big or small your next stage is. During rehearsals, you might have a small mixing console anyway to manage all your sources. You can use it for in-ear monitoring, of course. On the other hand, if you're not the only one using that room and console, you need to set it up again and again. And what happens when you guys go live? Just bringing an in-ear set to a live venue will always give you very, very different results based on the engineer, the time and equipment available at the venue. A standard stage is prepared for amplifying signals, not for a sophisticated monitoring mix. In the end, you might end up with a standard front of house mix in your ears while some monitor wedges still yell at you because they're not muted. That's why a self-mixed, self-contained in-ear rack is so useful. You just need to set it up once and you have your sound saved and ready to go on every stage, in every rehearsal, at every festival. It allows you to have your own individual sound system for in-ear monitoring while sending a raw, unaffected feed, as always, to the engineer at front of house. It's budget-friendly and it just needs a few basic pieces of equipment. You get a very versatile and upgradable setup that actually delivers what XS wireless in-ear monitoring can achieve. Firstly, you need a digital or analog mixer to handle all the inputs from you and your band members. An entry-level model is more than sufficient. But you might want to plan for 8 to 16 XLR inputs and 4 outputs. These start at about 300 euros or US dollars these days. Secondly, you need a signal splitter like this one. Let me explain. The splitter is a must-have for any live situation. The venue's front of house get their signals and you get your own independent signal for your in-ear monitoring. Very easy to handle and available from about 90 euros or US dollars. And of course, you need some XLR cables. Setups like these can easily scale with your demands for years to come. Maybe you want a more solid transportation option. No, no, not that way. We've done that for long enough, haven't we? Maybe you plan for a small rack. It's really cheap and saves you so much hassle. It really can be that easy. You could start with one XSW transmitter and some receivers. And later on, you might add a second transmitter to allow for more individual mixes. Once connected and set up, you can take your sound, your perfect in-ear mix everywhere. It's ready to go during rehearsal, and it's ready to go wherever you go live. The splitter sends the raw signals to front of house and you have your custom in-ear sound saved and ready. And best of all, this can then be set up in seconds. So that's about it. Getting a self-contained system really is key to unleashing the next level experience that XS Wireless in-ear monitoring is capable of. It's a very common infrastructure for bands big and small these days. Next up in our session is a quick walkthrough on setting up the XS wireless transmitter and receiver for the first time. We'll unpack a set and install it.